up guys, welcome back to another video. For those of you that don't know, it is your boy Zay. And as per usual, we are at the warehouse working on some cars today, filming an awesome video for you guys. If you guys did watch the last video we filmed, we went ahead and did the full front suspension on the Lexus LS400 build. And today we are continuing that by doing the rear suspension. Today we're gonna be installing the four brand new Serial 9 arms. We're gonna go ahead and start working with putting on the rear wheels and seeing what we're working with. In the next couple videos, we're gonna get a lot done and hopefully be putting the Lexus on the floor soon. We're gonna go ahead and talk about that, the new Limitless merch, and all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and get today's video started. Let's go ahead and close the door because there is a storm coming and I wanna make sure that you guys can hear everything that's going on in today's video. Let's go ahead and give a look at how the wheels look on the Lexus so far. As you guys can see, there's nothing set in stone here, but we are just test fitting, see how everything is coming out. I'm super excited. As you guys can see, this is almost a proper fit. We're gonna go ahead and do some minor adjustments. Like I said, it is not set in stone, but I'm super excited. As you guys can see, we have been getting a lot of stuff done on the Lexus build to get this thing on the floor soon. So let's go ahead and give you guys a little detail of what we're gonna be doing today. All right guys, so like I said, today we're gonna to be installing the rear suspension of the Lexus LS400. What that means is we're gonna go ahead and swap the rear axles. The reason I'm swapping the rear axles is because this car is 20, math, math, 25, 26 years old, and I wanna go ahead and swap those out because with the fitment I want on the two inch ulterior motor flares, I'm gonna have to run some camber for the fitment I want, and I don't wanna put stress on those OEM axles, so we're gonna replace those. We're also gonna replace the rear upper control arms, the toe arms, the trailing arms, and then I believe the camber arm. It's not really a lower control arm, it's like a camber arm. So we're gonna be replacing those four arms, the rear axles, we're also gonna be installing some extended studs just to get some proper fitment on these deep dish wheels, and so much more. Let's go ahead and give a look at the parts we're gonna be installing today. All right guys, so we do have a bit of a issue in the beginning of this installation. As you guys can see, we have the three arms here, the trailing arm, toe arm, and then lower camber arm, whatever you wanna say. The bushings don't fit, and yes, they are for the UCF20, they are for this year and this model and everything. I've been talking to a couple people and it turns out this is a common issue with just, you know, this not being far enough for these to fit. So let's go ahead and show you guys. So the trailing arm is gonna go over here and with the angle, yep, see that fits in there perfectly. So we don't have to worry about the trailing arm. So looking at the toe arm right here, it should go in this slot, as you guys can see, nothing, no, no fittings here. And then moving over to the camber arm over there, nothing as well, tight fit. So with that being said, so I do feel like it's not the world's biggest issue. I really just don't wanna wait one to two weeks to get new bushings in. It is a bigger bushing, so with that being said, it is a metal bushing. We can go ahead and get the grinder out and start grinding those down. I feel like if you just go ahead and grind it little by little to get it a tight fit, it should sit in there snug and correctly, and we can go ahead and get all these arms installed. So let's go ahead and start grinding down these bushings. So, before I explain this, look, can I get a rip in the chat? As you guys can see right there, the carbon lip on the FRS is destroyed. Let's get a rip in the chat. In the arms of an angel. All right, in all seriousness, this is actually what we're using for. This is going to be the new rear axles, and then we have the new rear upper control arm. We have the camber arm, the serial nine traction arm, and the serial nine toe arm. All these serial nine products, the new axles are gonna go ahead and go in the rear of the Lexus, and hopefully we can start getting some fitment in the rear and getting everything done. All right guys, so we finally did it. Both toe arm and camber arm are finally shaved in and holding tight. So we got a tight fit in both of those. Now we can go ahead and put the upper control arm in and the trailing arm in as well. Once we get those in, we can go ahead and put the knuckle back on and then put the axle in and put everything together. Let's go ahead and do it. Ah, I did it. what happened when 26 year old parts are just pressed in and no one takes care of anything. All right guys, so all four serial nine arms are finally in. Let's go ahead and take a look at that real quick. As you guys can see right here, the upper control arm is in. 
as you guys can see, we do have the bag clearance right here. That's why these are extended and we won't have any rubbing issues whatsoever. They're bolted in the back and then we have the trailing arm, toe arm, and camber arm. Those are all in. Right now, I do have the upper control arm pushed out a little bit because later on, once everything is reassembled, I'm gonna go ahead and mess with the camber arm and then the upper control arm so I can see what I need to adjust and work with so I can fit the axle in and not put any stress or anything like that on the axle. I don't wanna blow an axle or have multiple issues with that. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and put the knuckle back on. I'm gonna go ahead and mount it to the upper control arm with the castle nut and then once that is in, I will have the up and down play where I can slide the axle in and then go ahead and put the bottom of the arms back in. Let's get it done. All right guys, now that that is done, you guys can see right here, the jack is now holding this together. And then now that nothing is bolted on the bottom, we will have the free play from the upper control arm to be able to fit the axle in. Once the axle is in and I make sure everything's good there, we can finally bolt up the bottom of the stuff and then we can see how everything looks once everything is tightened on. As you guys can see, this is making some awesome improvements with the passenger side and everything looks so good. And then as you guys can see this cut right here, we're gonna start working with the extended studs, getting those in so we can have the wheel sit properly on the rotor. I'm super excited how this looks, guys. I don't think you guys really understand. The Lexus is getting so close to being done. We are so close. All right, guys, taking a quick look here, we do have the two brand new axles that are going into the Lexus. Um, right here, we do have the right one, which is the longer side, and then the driver's side, which is the shorter one. And then we do have a pack of lube. The lube is just for, so you can add to both sides to get a smooth, easier install. Um, these aren't click-ins, so what you just wanna do is make sure that you have it seated properly. Once you uh, torque it down, it's the uh, six hex bolts on one side, and then the 132 millimeter axle nut on the other side. Once those are on, you can tighten those down. Just gotta make sure you torque the spec and everything should be good then. Let's go ahead and install the passenger side. You know what? I'm not one to lie to you guys, so I'm just gonna tell you the truth. This is not an easy install. I thought it was gonna be easy. I don't know what I was coming into. I was gonna be like, eh, it's not too bad. I lied, this is tough. The axle is one, Zay is zero. Um, but with that being said, we did get the axle in. I actually found it easier to leave the upper control arm with the ball joint castle nut connected to the knuckle and just leave that there and then slide the axle, ah, axle is in. English is hard. The axle in and then that should be able to do it. Let's go check this out right now. All right guys, diving into it. As you guys can see, the jack is still holding it up. And the, actually the bag strut is disconnected where the upper control arm is just holding the knuckle in. But as you can see, we have the axle nut on. And as you guys can see, we got the play. I'm gonna go ahead and put these bolts in and hopefully we can get that axle movement that we need so we don't put enough stress on it. And then once that's done, we can start putting all the arms back on. But now that the storm is clearing up, highlight of the day, Tanner is here. Tanner's gonna go ahead and do some work on the Z and he's gonna hang out with us for a bit. Wait for it. Wait for it. There he is. Hey. Hey. Ooh. Shout out to the neighbor though. Gave us a free futon. We may have to change out this cover, but we're adding to the new shop. With that being said, we will make a video on that where we will explain the new shop and what's going on in here. I'm just taking a little break from the Lexus right now. Get a little sleepy. All right guys, currently under the car here, as you guys can see, we finally do have the passenger side axle in. All six hex bolts are finally installed. And then as you guys can see, we have that in there. Now we're gonna leave it like this for a bit. I'm gonna put all the arms back on and then hopefully we can get all this movement that we need and 
everything should be good and hopefully the axle will be stress free. All right guys, so it is officially midnight. I really didn't realize how late it was in the shop. Uh, Tanner left hours ago, and then uh, Adriana fell asleep as well. So I've just kind of been grinding on the car, as you guys can see. But as of right now, I can officially say the rear suspension on the passenger side is fully installed. So with that being said, what we went ahead and did was the axle replacement, the upper ball joint on the upper control arm, of course the upper control arm, the trailing arm, toe arm, and then the camber arm. All that stuff has been swapped out. Uh, right now you guys are gonna go ahead and watch me do the first mounting of the GMR wheel on the hub assembly. Um, disclaimer, it's not, this is not how anything's gonna sit. This is not how the wheel's gonna be flush. This is just the first time putting the wheel on and checking it out. So let's go ahead and see. Oh, 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 oh my goodness. No way. <laughs> this is crazy. I am super pumped right now. Like this is not staged. This is natural emotion. This is crazy. Look at this. Oh my. That is like literally right there. Right now there's no air in the bags whatsoever. As you guys can see, we have a little bit of sag on the floor. But let's go ahead and jack the wheel up. Um, we do have the couple lugs in, just to make sure it's sitting properly. And of course, we gotta make sure the roll is good, everything's good, and then you guys can hear nothing crazy with the axle. So let's go ahead and jack up the wheel and see how it looks as of right now. Oh my. Goodness, I mean the toe is completely off if you ask me we have you know the wheel is doing like a little pigeon toe thing, but Look at that. That's literally what I'm aiming for I am going for the tucked look with the ulterior motive flares like yeah See as you guys can see the toe is completely off, but everything does look good under I did check just now all the arms everything looks like it's holding up We're going in the right direction as you guys can already see right here. We are already hitting the flare so the biggest thing is gonna be put some tires on and then we can make the real adjustments make sure there's clearance and everything like that cut more of the wheel well if we need to but this is awesome all right guys so the first half of the rear suspension is done as you guys can see all the arms in and everything is done on the passenger side for now like i said we're going to put some tires on and make those adjustments as needed but i'm super excited this looks so good i hope you guys are enjoying the video so far if you guys are of course show some love and if you guys do have any questions of this process going on you know how to reach me but with that being said let's get some cinematics and enjoy the second half time lapse this wheel so we finally got the suspension on the driver's side and as you guys can see this 
Oh, I almost fell. This looks awesome. I cannot believe how good this looks. I'm super excited on how the car is turning out. As you guys can see, with the rear suspension now finally in, we are finally making some major progress. I mean, look at this. Not one, but two. And then, of course, the passenger three, four. All four wheels are finally on. The suspension is finally in. But like I said, none of this is torqued down. None of this is final stuff. We still have to go in and do some minor adjustments and make sure we get that fitment proper, but everything looks so good. I'm super excited on how the car is turning out. And you know what? I'm just extremely blessed and grateful that I am able to document this and share this experience with you guys. We have done so much on the Lexus to see where it's come from to the point where it's headed. It's not even fun. We have done so much stuff by changing out suspension components, doing a front end conversion, tacking some ulterior motor flares on, and just to see how the build is coming out is an amazing feeling because once you have a vision of how you want your car to look and not only are you getting the right people, the right companies, the right parts, the right friends and family to support you, those things are achievable and it's just an awesome feeling. But with that being said, I hope you guys did like today's video. I learned so much by doing all this stuff and you know what, we're not even close to being done yet. But I was just super pumped to film this. And as you guys can see, the wheel fitment is already crazy. And that's not even for sure dialed in yet. So if you guys like today's video, go ahead and show some love. If you guys haven't already, make sure to follow Limitless and Company. I have a huge drop coming in July. We'll be adding eight new things to the store. And of course, once that's ready, I will update you guys on that. But I hope you guys like today's video. And as per usual, no matter how far you get in life, to always remain humble and always try to make a difference. Deuce.